Are you looking for love in all the wrong places or are you the type of person who can't seem to make love work even if you find it in what seems to be the right places? You may be a relationship litter bug. Joining me now to talk about relationship litter bugs is Dr. Bill Baker with Grayson and Associates. And Dr. Baker, if you can, start by describing to us what a relationship litter bug is. I'm Marissa, glad to. A relationship litter bug is the individual who engages in littering to such an extent that he damages important relationships. The damage could be done by behavioral littering, meaning that he leaves physical objects like food and clothing out in inappropriate places for other people to clean up or to pick up. Verbal littering refers to negative communication. Now, a lifestyle of either verbal or behavioral littering uh, poses a great threat to all of our relationships. And how do you first recognize if you are a litter bug? Well, a little bit of litter is not usually a problem, so we're talking about an excessive amount or a continuing pattern. For example, verbal littering. There are three types of verbal littering that can really cause a lot of problems. The complainer litter bug is the one who engages in excessive grum, grum, uh, uh, griping and grumbling and so hurts the relationship. He needs to understand that complaining is draining. The trasher litter bug is the one who hurts the relationship by trash talk. Hmm. Things like sarcasm or put downs. He needs to understand that all mud thrown is ground lost. And finally, the dumper litter bug is the one who takes venting to such an extreme that he hurts the relationship. And he needs to understand that venting, when it's excessive and out of control, turns into negative dumping. And all three types can really hurt a relationship. And that's one way to identify the verbal litter bug. And once you've identified that, what steps can you take to, to obviously make a change? Uh, one way is, a uh, preventive way is not to get into a relationship, especially marriage, if you don't like having to live with litter because littering is losing <laughs> and right. so you just don't get into it in the first place. But the first solution is for the litter bug himself to change his lifestyle. He needs to recognize the damage that his behavior is doing and he needs to stop his lazy and selfish behavior pattern. And if he cannot do it himself, professional therapy could be a good resource. Now, the second solution, Marissa, is that other people need to hold the litter bug accountable and responsible for his negative pattern, and they need to set and enforce healthy boundaries, such as no littering allowed. No littering, no littering allowed. No littering yeah. allowed. And for people who want more information, say, I know a litter bug or I am one, where can they go to get more? Well, then contact me at Grayson Associates uh, at my office here. Well, thank you. And that really helps. I'm kind of thinking of some the trasher, the complainer. I think we can oh. all identify those in our lives, and mm -hmm. that's very helpful information. Thank you so much. Well, glad to be here. Hope it's helpful.